Hi and welcome back to Liz Art Studios. Today we are going to do something really fun and I love it, okay? We are going to be making a symmetrical design by stamping warm colors to our paper. So hold on and I'll show you just what to do. For today you're going to need the following materials, okay? You're going to need an orange, red, pink, yellow, and if you want, some brown, because those are the warm colors, okay? You're gonna be needing a tray, so you could put your paint inside your tray, okay? These are styrofoam trays that we recycle or use from our home, so you could save them, they're fruit plates, so you could save them and bring them to school, okay? So we could use them. And then, you're going to be needing also some objects from around the house that have textures, okay, that you could use for stamping. For example, a brush, a angry bird that has really nice feet, okay? You have to think, you have to think what you could stamp. A car, okay, with wheels that they could paint. Uh, Legos, these are some Lego pieces that I had, so I'm gonna use them also. Um, forks. These are some examples and ideas of what you could uh, look for in your house. This is the top of a bottle, a water bottle. This is from a curtain. I don't know where this came from. These are little feet from a doll. Okay, because I think that would be really cool. Maybe her hands could be stamped too. I don't know. A key. I have this um, screw here that could be really nice stamping. And also, this little spoon for the ice cream when you go and try out ice creams. So I have all these things that I can use. So let me show you <clears throat> what we're going to be doing today, okay? A symmetrical design is a design that starts in the middle and is the same on one side as the other side, like my face. My face is the same on one side as the other side. Well, not really, but more or less, okay? Let's begin. We began in the center, so you're going to choose just a piece here and to put it in the center and then I'm going to go around it. So what am I going to do? I'm going to take, let's see, this circle, okay? This circle is good. I am going to take some pink paint, all right? And I am going to <clears throat> just put it in the middle. So I could begin my symmetrical design. Now everything that I do on one side I need to do on the other side, all right? So let's try it out. I'm gonna put this back, and I'm gonna take this Lego piece that has orange, and I'm just going to put more orange paint on it, and I'm going to put it right here. Like, I put it on this side of the circle, I need to put it on the other side, okay? Now, I'm also going to put it above it and below it. Okay, I used too much paint here, it's okay. All right, and I'm gonna put it back in the tray. Now, what am I gonna do? I like this fork. So, I'm gonna take the fork and some yellow paint, and I am going to do the same thing here as here, and I'm gonna do it on the other side. So on the other side, I need to put the fork backwards. See, I used it this way, now I need to put it backwards, okay? So I could have the same design on one side as the other. If I were to cut this in half, it's the same here as here. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put some more. I'm gonna put another one here, why not? And here. And like I did at the top, I don't have to do it at the bottom because it just has to be one side just like the other side. So at the bottom, I'm not gonna do it. Hmm, what do you think? Okay, I think that's good. Now, I'm gonna take my Angry Bird feet, okay, which are really cool, and I'm gonna put some red on it, okay? And what I'm gonna do is, I am going to start making, let's see, feet, 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 Woo! really nice. Now I'm gonna do it backwards on the other side. Okay, so let's see. 
feet, feet, and feet. Ta-da! Wow, look at that. <clears throat> now, I'm gonna take some pink, because like I have pink here, I'm missing kind of a little bit of pink. So I am going to take the same object I had to finish that symmetrical design. Remember, your symmetrical design could be anything you want it to be. You are the artist, okay? I'm making this up as I go and as I feel it. So you do whatever you need to do, all right? So I'm gonna put a circle up here in the middle and I'm going to put two circles at the bottom. And I think that's pretty cool. And then I am going to put some other circles right here between the feet, between two feet. There we go. The top, in the middle, and right here. And I think I am going to stop. It's okay if you have more space left over here than on this side because we could always cut that a little bit, okay, for our next lesson. So, this is what I wanted you to do for today's lesson. You have to be very clean and you have to put all the objects back in the tray so the other students can use it and uh, just don't mess up the paint so everyone could use it and you can make wonderful stamping designs, okay? So let's review. Today we said that a symmetrical design, a symmetrical artwork is the same on both sides. Same here as here. If you close up the paper, it will be the same on either side, okay? Now, that's what we did here. When you look at our artwork, it's the same on every single side as you go out. So it's symmetrical. And today we use warm colors. We use warm colors, the ones that make you feel so hot on a blue cardboard paper. Why? You'll see next time. So today, what you need to do is take a pencil, ta-da, and sign your name on your work, all right? And write today's, uh, this year, which is 19, this year. And uh, you're gonna save this. You're gonna make it, you're gonna let it dry. And next time, we are going to do some magic and finish up our artwork. Okay, so I'll see you next week. Have fun, be good, and get ready because we're going to finish a beautiful art piece. Bye-bye.